It's funny how the zoom seems different today. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, May the 17th, 2022. It's time for morning prayer and praise. I'm Pastor Mel and new location. It's in our new home and I have an actual office. Yay. So anyway, yeah, sitting in my new office and it's kind of nice and quiet and um, yeah, it has doors. So I can close them and all kinds of nifty things. So anyway, um, Pictures on my uh, timeline if you want to see kind of what we've done thus far. We still have a lot of work to do. Anyway, how is your day going? How is your week starting off? How are things going for everyone? Margie, I see you're in. And good morning. And you know what? You, I saw it. I saw you put about Bible study. And that was the next thing out of my mouth. And I didn't mention it yesterday here. Uh, my apologies. How did Bible study go last night? I hope it will. I'm sure it went well. It usually does. And it's very well attended. So um, great job um, leading that Bible study. So hopefully one day I can get back in there and start uh, attending again and participating. Anyway, thank you for being so patient with me. Some of you are saying, are you off vacation yet? Are you done? Not that it was a vacation. It was just time off to take care of some things around the house. So Rowena went back to work today, and so I guess it's official. We're ready to go. You see, we haven't even hung all the pictures, so anyway. Oh, anyway, we're getting ready for Pride, uh, the interfaith service on June 16th, and the Pride in the Park in, in Mun Park. Um, that'll be so fun, downtown Lakeland. Looking forward to that for sure. Um, the interfaith service is going to be awesome. Some fun songs as well as some powerful songs. Or, uh, the choir, the interfaith choir, amazing. The first time we went through the song, first time, everybody got together, put their voices together, and wow, it was powerful. So you definitely want to mark your calendars and be a part of that. I think you'd really enjoy it. Um, let's see what else. Um, you had 15 last night. My goodness, that's awesome. So your group is growing. This is great. And I can I know that it will continue to grow. Um, what Are you still doing the same Bible study, the at the table or whatever it was called? Um, you still doing that? Okay, so we will go to our devotions and prayer time. Let me get over here. I saw this this morning in devotions. Proverbs 16, 9 says, A man's mind plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps and makes them sure. We must learn to wait for God's plans to develop. He perfects everything that concerns us. True boldness moves in God's timing. It moves at the right time. During the three years of Jesus' earthly ministry, people thought he was crazy. His own brothers were embarrassed by him, and in an effort to save their reputation, they told him, Jesus, 
He needed to go somewhere else and do his works. If he was unwilling to do that, they had another option for him. They mentioned maybe he should take action and stop doing his works in secret. Instead, make it public, try to convince him it was time to show himself and all that he could do and all his works to the whole world. In other words, they wanted Jesus to impress the people with what he could do. He responded to them by saying, My time has not come yet. My opportunity is not here yet. How many of us could show that type of self-control? If you had a power, a special gift, or something that you could do, would you not want to get out there and put it on social media and tell all the world about what you could do? Sometimes people try to do that and fall flat on their faces. If you could do the miracles that Jesus could do, and you were being made fun of and challenged to show your stuff. Come on, show me what you could do. What would you do? Would you wait until you absolutely knew that it was the right time? Or would you take action whether God sanctioned it or not? Would you just get out there and show them what you could do? It is good to have plans. And I believe we should plan. But we must also be wise enough to know that our plans will ultimately fail without God. God's word says, except the Lord builds that house, the people labor in vain. Who can build without God as our foundation? But like any building with a strong foundation, we will eventually I suppose the message for us all today as we're listening what is it that you want to do are there things that you're just burning in the side and you know that you have a calling a passion to do something give it to God and when God says move it's time you will know it because in your heart it will bear witness. You will feel peace about it. You'll feel strength and confidence. You won't walk in going, I don't know, I can do this, I'm scared. But instead you'd walk in saying, no, this is the time. God has promoted me. God has called me and it's time to move forward. So many times I think, uh, especially artists, musicians move out before they're really ready. Not just musically ready, not just talent-wise, but emotionally and spiritually-wise. There's a lot more to it than people think. Think about that today, because we don't want you to fall. We want you to have power and boldness to do what God has called you to do. But waiting for that right time when God says, Okay, now it's time, and you must move forward. On the reverse of that, there are many of you sitting on your blessed assurance that haven't moved yet. And God has been saying, <clears throat> excuse me, got to go. It's time. <laughs> and we're way past the time that God has said, it's time to move. Ask God. Seek God with all of your heart. Trust in God in all your ways. Acknowledge God. And he will. He will direct your path if you'll just listen for it. Listen to his voice. Amen. Let's go to our prayer needs today. I know that Sandy and Peggy came over last night and I said, girl, don't you have a surgery scheduled tomorrow? She said, yes. She's got a knee replacement happening t today. You know, these days it's outpatient. When I was had mine, it was like three days in the hospital. Uh, now it's like outpatient. Wow. And they send a physical therapist home with her and yeah, get her back up on her feet. So we pray for Sandy that all went well and that the recuperation will go well. It's painful, but that God will bring her through that and she'll be just fine. Um, we praise God that Brady is working. He went through a depression, a state of depression and just demotivation and sometimes that happens to people so we praise God Brady is back working 
Stephen's doing better. Joy is home and doing better. In fact, Robin texted me this morning and said, not only is all as well, but all is still well, which is a good thing. So perhaps they found the right medicines to balance her. Um, we keep on praying for Joy. Wilma is asking for prayers for unspoken prayer request. Jim Adamo is leaving tomorrow to go to Massachusetts. He needs God's protection, surrounding him with angels as he travels, and also financially blessing him so that he makes the trip and is able to handle the financial burden of it. This is something he does every summer, so we just pray God will be with him. We pray for Rowena's shoulder. Katie's breast cancer biopsy is Tuesday. That's today. So she needs prayer. We will pray. Oh, is this Katie's? Is this Katie Diane's daughter? Anyway, um, Beth's neighbor, Gary, has COVID and needs a has also a mass in his chest. So they'll be having more tests. We pray for him. Jean Ann needs our prayers for a relapse with lung cancer. We pray for what's going on in Ukraine and all of Europe. We pray for the 10 people that were killed, but there were many more shot. And we pray for all of them that were hurt in that Buffalo um, shooting. Pray for the parents. I heard today they were totally shocked. I mean, of course, the father did buy him a, a rifle for his birthday, so anyway. <laughs> but apparently they didn't see any kind of mental instability in their son. Well, we pray for that whole situation, that God would have peace. We pray for Cookie and continued prayers for her to continue. Kathy, how is Thomas doing? Um, your grandson. And hey, Julie, good morning. Gary is doing better and hopefully home today. Praise God. Hi, Cookie. How you feeling? How's that back? No lift in the boxes. <laughs> of course, who am I telling you? We just got through moving and there were a couple of boxes that were like, should I, should I do it or not? Not sure. Can I? Anyway. Be careful, Cookie. Um, Margie's daughter, Dancy, is looking for a job and needs our prayers. We pray for Holly and for Leslie. Barbara needs prayers for heart issues. We pray for Margie's daughter, Lynn. They just went through a loss of the mother, um, mother-in-law. We pray for them. This is a hard time. Pray that God will move in their lives and their hearts. And even in a time of grief and sorrow, that they will feel God with them. Um, let's see what else. Carrie is having pain and soreness in his mouth. Carrie's cousin, cousin Kayla, her dad needs our prayers for recovery from heart surgery. Bridget is in the hospital and needs our prayers for mental health. Beth's neighbor, Betty, needs our prayers for health issues. Join with me now as we pray for these folks. I want to pray for Chris and Dan. Um, Chris goes to our church. And she has two ch two little boys. We pray for Chris and God to um, just bring peace to her family, her whole situation there. That God would have peace and give a, a, a special abundant dispensation of peace and grace in their home. And God would touch Dan. Went with a scare with a bladder cancer, so we, we pray for Dan.
Join with me now and let us pray together. Today, as you go through your day, I challenge you. Find out what God's plans for you are. And if you don't know, take a moment and just say, God, here I am. I'm on waiting and wheeling. Help me not to move too fast. Help me to hear your voice. Help me to follow you. And in that moment when I don't know whether to go or stay or whatever, give me peace to rest in your arms until I hear your voice call. Join with me now and pray. Lord God, we are so blessed and thankful that we are alive today, that you've granted us yet another day and your mercies are new every morning and we are so thankful for that. And now God, for each person watching today and those who will watch later, Lord, I pray you would surround them with love and, and comfort in their time of waiting on God and waiting for you to lead them. Lord, help us, grant us peace and help us to, Lord, keep our eyes open. Meanwhile, while we're waiting, that we would help others, that we would be open to being a blessing to other people as a, you bring people in our lives. There's a reason why each person crosses our paths. Help us to be a blessing to them because you have blessed us so. We are so humbly grateful for all that you've given us. Help us not to grumble and complain, but to say, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for all that you have granted us today. Help us to make this day a day of blessing to others. It's in your wonderful name, Jesus, I pray all these things through the power and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Be with all those we've called other names, you've heard them. And now, God, you know the answer to each one of those. We pray that you would show your answers to each one today. Thank you, God. And all the people said, amen. Go out there and have a good day. Get things done. Don't sit on that couch. Uh-uh, don't you do it. Get up. Move. Go and be a blessing to others because God has blessed us. And I will see you back here tomorrow morning at 9.30-ish in the morning for morning prayer and praise. Have a fabulous day. Goodbye.